Hello guys, and um, this is another garden update. I just got um, major de-weeding done, and um, I wanted to show you guys how I did. I didn't get to the tomatoes yet, as you can see, but that's all tomatoes. I have like 20 plants there. Um, it was like major de-weeds. But this is this whole bin. It's how much weed I got out. This is all basically grass and crab grass. A couple of my plants died because I neglected them. And that is partially my fault. Actually, all of it's my fault, but um, I haven't been um, outside much, so I'm gonna keep on my garden. Um, the plants that I have now, I still have my um, peppers. They were supposed to be red peppers, but I guess they got mixed up in the uh, seed in industry, whatever. But they're green bell peppers, Italian green bell peppers. So I still have all three plants of those. None of them died. Um, these are my habaneros. I have one, two, three, four, five. I have five habaneros still. And they are producing peppers. Here's one. Most of them, they already um, were ready, so I had to pick them. Same thing with the um, the peppers. My eggplants are huge. Like my eggplant, like plants and stuff. But um, I got a, I got a couple good baby eggplants. They're not this size though. They're about, I'd say, from my uh, middle finger to my thumb. But they're pretty thick. I got like four of them out of here. If you guys look really carefully, there's a spider. He went hiding, it's okay. But um, yeah guys, so I badly neglected them. I didn't even trim the eggplants down. And if you look, there's a bad yellow leaf there. Some of the leaves have discoloring, like this one. It's not supposed to be that yellowish green. It's supposed to be totally green, but um, like I said, I didn't take care of them. Um, out of the cucumbers that I planted, I have two seedlings in my cucumber cage. It's my cucumber cage. It's just basically um nylon covered um chicken wire with um uh, it's a type of metal in there so when the squirrels try to bite it they don't like it but um out of those seedlings i have two decent plants each has a cucumber one of them is um one of the cucumbers is yellow i have no clue why i think it's partial because it was like covered with a lot of uh, weeds and stuff so yeah and out of the okra that i had planted i think i have one okra plant left but out of the okra plant these two seed pods that i will be using um next year for next growing season to grow some okra i wouldn't i won't be growing as much tomato plants but this is my um okra plant uh it hasn't produced any but i did have a couple here like three here but i think they died because of all like the crowdage there's a lot of crowdage um in the uh garden and stuff my potato I actually had to early harvest that because once the potato plant dies, that's when you're supposed to harvest. Like once it's all totally dead, no green on it, but 
it was right here. I got three decent um, tomato plants. Uh, not tomato, but um, three decent potatoes. Decent size. About this big. One was a little baby. A little baby small one. But, um, yeah. See, the tomatoes. Out of the tomatoes. I still have my cherry. These are my cherry. I still have my beef steak over there. And I still have my plum. The... Um, it's beef steak right there. There's still some weeds, but what I might do because these tomatoes are poorly neglected, I might just strip them and um, take all the tomatoes off of them and then throw all the tomato plants into a uh, compost. And I might plant something else there. Because, guys, really, I apologize, but I really neglected them and it's not fair to you guys as viewers because you guys wanted to see more updates like this and I this was if you look back on my previous videos not the tank update 3 one but I think it's one of my um no it's my survival oven I think right yeah it should be but it's my survival oven um video I showed a clip of my garden and how horribly um, weed, like how horribly weed infested it was. Um, the tools that I used for this is basically rounded pliers. But these are mainly for the earwigs because I have a lot of huge earwigs here. Shovel, basically just to get huge clumps of weeds out. Just a trent, uh, knife, a uh, serrated edge knife, just to trim the uh, weeds down. This was a uh, rake, but um, this piece broke off. But it was actually beneficial to me because when you're de-weeding, you know how the rake makes many trenches. But if you keep on doing that, and then you make decent trenches. You could easily take the hook, press it in there, and say if there's weeds here, you just go, and the weeds are basically pulled out of the ground. And then I just trim some of my plants down. I did plant some couple of collard greens. These are my collard greens. I will be harvesting them today for a stir fry that I will be doing. Um, yeah, like I said, I neglected these and, well, they're kind of dying. But I'll be harvesting them today. These are just uh, collard greens, I think. This one looks like it's an eggplant. Looks like an eggplant. I didn't mean to plant that there, but I didn't want to plant it here because just a huge bush of eggplants. Um, so it is getting dark, but I'm going to hurry up and do this. I have my basil here. My basil's still okay. And then, off camera, I planted some, uh, Charleston melons. has a flower on it. I know one of them has a melon on it. That, I definitely know because I saw it. Ah, uh, which side was it on? It's not on that side. I don't know. There was a melon on this. I know there was. Oh, well, here's, here's a baby melon. There's a bigger melon. I think it um fell off and I moved it. Yeah, it did. Uh, sad, but it's okay. So yeah. Um, my blueberry bush is still doing okay. I don't even work to cut the grass, so I'm waiting on that. It's blocking out the sun from my um, blueberry bush. My chives are okay. The banana pepper plant that I had here, it died um, because he didn't let me use the um, hose for a couple of months, actually. So my garden has basically been without water for months. Um, I live upstairs, so it's kind of hard to bring down a five-gallon bucket of water all the way down the stairs, but here's my um, 
honey lemon rosemary. It still needs water. As you can see. I only have one strawberry plant out of the strawberry plants that I grew recently. I already have runners. I know it's getting kind of dark. I don't know where the flash is on this. But I will find that out, guys. Shad is still doing okay. My lemon tree is still doing just fine. My terrarium, it died. I just gotta take care of it. Um. And my mango. My mango tree. Let's get this out of there. That's a weed. I do have to trim my mango tree down. But, um, yeah, it's getting kind of dark, so I'm going to let you guys go. So, alright, that's it. Um, any other updates or any changes that I do to my garden, I swear to you guys, I will leave you guys update so many times about it. And, yeah. I'm gonna get my lazy butt up every time I see a weed and I will pull it. Um, tomorrow I'll be adding some milk grown to my garden. I know it's really getting kind of dark, so that's it, guys. I will see you next time I do an update. Alright, bye.